Hey, this is Pastor Anthony Nix coming at you with another weekly devotional, Anderson Seventh-day Adventist Church. The devotional for this uh, week is actually called The Fall of Angels. The Bible tells us that heaven was a place of peace until one of the highest, most beautiful angels rebelled. The prophet Ezekiel calls him an anointed cherub who covered. He was perfect. To understand what a covering cherub is, we need to understand a unique building God instructed Moses to make called the tabernacle. This structure served as a shadow of the heavenly sanctuary according to Hebrews chapter 8, verses 2 and 5. Inside the tabernacle was a golden furnishing called the mercy seat, a symbol of God's throne. Under this mercy seat was the ark. Inside the ark was the law of God. Moses was commanded to make two inanimate cherubs or angels to cover the ark. The symbol shows that the covering cherub was a being that stands close to the throne of God. But most importantly was to be a covering protector of God's law. In 1 Chronicles chapter 28, David refers to the ark as the footstool of God. Prominent Presbyterian theologian Albert Barnes states that David's view that David viewed the ark as God's footstool because he was enthroned above it, visible in the Shekinah or the luminous cloud, present from time to time above the mercy seat between the cherubim. This idea illustrates that the foundation of God's universal kingdom is his law, which is summed up by Paul in Romans chapter 13, verse 10, as love. As a covering cherub, Lucifer's responsibility was to cover, protect, and show the holiness of God's law of love, the foundation of peace in the universe. But the Bible tells us that iniquity was found in this angel. Iniquity, another word for sin, is also described in 1 John 3, 4 as transgression of God's law. After Lucifer transgressed in his heart, he convinced other angels in heaven to rebel with him against God's law. The way he was able to accomplish this was by trafficking deceptive ideas among angels. Isaiah 14, 12 through 14 tells us that Lucifer aspired to exalt his throne above the stars and to be like the Most High without the foundation of the law of love. The Bible says that the Most High is righteous, pure, and holy. Lucifer wanted to be like God without the need to obey God's law. His argument to the angels was a simple yet deceptive message that they didn't need to obey God to be holy like God. Each angel could choose to do his own will, follow his inclinations, and still be righteous without the law. But in rebelling against the law of love, the result could only lead to hate. When Lucifer sinned, it caused a divide between him and God. Isaiah 59, 1 and 2 tells us that our iniquities have separated us from, a God, from God. A war broke out in heaven, a war of ideas. And Revelation 12, 7 through 9 tells us that Lucifer, now Satan, and his angels were banished from heaven and Satan would continue the war. But now he would aim to hit God where it hurts the most, with his creation. Join us next week as we explore how Satan was able to trick God's creation into joining his rebellion and how the war continues to this day. If you really found this interesting, I have an offer for you. We're actually getting these devotionals from a source called The Blueprint, God's GPS. You can get that free of charge if you just comment below and let us know that you're wanting it. May God bless you and have a good week.